Now one of the things I showed was that I could highlight a single column or a single row. But what if I want to highlight everything? Well, notice what we got this guy for. This guy right here, if I click on him, he actually will highlight everything. And so say for example I want to get rid of those uh, B's, for example, I can actually make everything yellow. Now my entire background for my cells is yellow, or I can actually select no fill in my drop down menu. And what that'll do is that'll remove out the color. And so you can see I can start to play around with this a little bit more. Now one of the things we like to do is we like to create what's known as a documentation sheet. And just so you can see that, one of the things I can do is I can rename sheet one. I can either double click on sheet one or right clicking brings up my shortcut menu. And for my sake, I'm just gonna select rename. Documentation. And we do this as a, a good identifier of what the, what we're looking at. You know, in three months, you're not gonna know what any of this stuff is. In 10 months, you're not gonna know what any of this stuff is. In 10 years, you know, why are you still looking at this? Uh, so, this is a good way to identify what we're talking about. So we can say, okay, author. We can say date. And we can always get that purpose. That purpose is pretty important. So obviously the author, that would be yours truly. Now for date, we're actually gonna throw out a little uh, fun thing for you. I know, you know, one of the things you might notice is I can input my date any way I want. So we'll say to 28, 15. Notice what happened when I hit enter. I said to 28, 15. It automatically interpreted what I typed as a date because Excel is smart like that and it properly formatted it for me. And so purpose we can say uh, to demonstrate uh, Excel's functions. Yay. Now one of the things you might notice is uh, B is getting cut off right now. B is still right here. What I can do is I can actually resize this by clicking, holding, and dragging. And you notice this will actually allow me to see sort of where it is and I get a little indicator at the very top here telling me how big width is. And I, you see I can drag it all the way to say Adam Goita so it's all the way there but what happens if I don't want to I don't want to play that game I don't want to play the uh, 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 you know making sure that is right especially since I got to do it again over here one of the things I can do is I can use auto fit simply by double clicking it will jump all the way to the end of my text now notice what happened here my date all of a sudden jumped all the way to the right that's because inside of Microsoft Excel, dates and numbers are right aligned. So what we can do is just like we would see inside of Microsoft Word, we can use our alignment section, it's no longer the paragraph section, it's the alignment section, to select left alignment. Now what if I want text you know I don't like the fact that I got text right here, text right here and then I'm, I'm dealing with you know the shorthand version of numbers. Well, notice what happened when I click on Adam, right there. I get general. When I click here, general. But when I click here, date. All right. Hmm. Means we can format our numbers. And if I click on that drop-down menu, you'll see that we have a few options. One of those is long date. And what long date will do is it'll flesh it out entirely. Notice, yeah, I'm doing this video on a Saturday. So these things, uh, they allow me to kind of work on this uh, and format my data as I like it.